Hi there everyone, I hope you're having a really good Friday. So happy Easter. Today's video is going to be a collective. I was just thinking then, yeah, I'd not really forward planned doing a video um, so it was just a spare of the moment thing and so there could be a knock at the door soon I am I actually expecting um, a friend coming around to see me that I've not seen for a long time so um, yeah if Sorry, I'm just trying to get this right. So yeah, if you do hear a knock at the door, I've put my dog upstairs out of the way. Um, so those of you that know me on a personal level know that I've got a dog, um, an old dog, 14, over 15 this year. So he is in his senior years, bless him. Um, and so it's just mainly because he ends up getting too excited and you know sometimes he gets a bit stressed out and that gets me stressed out and so it's just better you know to prevent it anyway so maybe this is something that you're going through um whoever's watching so just before i start though um if this doesn't resonate with you if it's not your story if it's not in any way shape or form relating to you or your situation ship then please don't make the shoe fit so so let's get going so Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Ancestors, Spirit Guides, Animal Spirit Guides, Spirit Totems, and Holy Mother and Holy Father. What does the collective need to hear, please? Um, what is coming up this bank holiday and what do they need to be aware of that's a bit a few too many so we've got the queen of clubs so uh, this is fire energy this is um Something that you're doing that you are um, actually working on coming into the present now. Um, so something that you were working on in the past that is going to benefit or influence in some way, shape or form up and coming so okay then and the seven spades on the bottom of the deck I love this deck so this is on the bottom um, and this is can't see it. Seven of spades on the bottom. Possibly something to do with equilibrium. 
divine counterparts. Wild and free, like wild horses I'm hearing. Um, so that's on the bottom of the deck, the overall energy. So what I feel, the Queen of Clubs is also about strength, confidence, um, so self-esteem, self-belief, self-worth. Um, it is a masculine, so being a sort of authoritative, but not arrogant in the strength and confidence, if you understand me. So it might be a quiet confidence, it might be a calm, um, unshakable, unfuckwithable type of confidence, which is awesome. So I know this is sort of um, pertaining possibly to um, a personal message from spirit to me um, in my current or recent past situation. Um, and so the second card is the five of diamonds. Five is all about change. Um, and so in the normal traditional tarot, it would be the Hierophant card. So it is tradition, um, you know, traditional beliefs, traditional way of life, um, sort of those sort of traditional morals and old fashioned, not outdated, but you know, a sort of um, a sort of old school, you know, that's what I'm hearing. So I base it's to do with being authoritative in spirit. Um so the unseen realm. So not necessarily authority figure in work life or home life. I feel that I am speaking to a single divine feminine, but not necessarily. So it depends if the story resonates with your situation shit. I know it does with mine. So this is the current present energy I feel actually it was what was done in the not so long ago past. So I was, I am standing in this now at present, and that's the gift of of um, today. Um, but whatever this was, collective. It brought about a divine situation, a divine leveling up, a divine, you know, um, I mean, the tower is, is, um, so it could be possible Scorpio because the tower is a, Scorpio card in the traditional tarot. Six is all about symmetry, equilibrium, yin and yang, divine balance and natural divine order. And it is also to do with the material realm, carbon copy, something of tangible nature. So it brought about a intervention of sorts. 
Um, and so, yes, the tower means it's all coming down. The whole fucking can caboodle. And so it might be inconvenient, painful, frustrating and everything else. But one needs to remember that no matter what happens, it is for the best. And before we can build anything new and move on and f make a fresh start, it all has to come down and make way for the fresh page, the clean slate, or the new start. And so, whoever I'm reading for, just know that there's no need to worry, don't try and control anything, it's out of your control anyway. It's all to do now with divine timing and your ancestors or spirit guides or passed over loved ones. They've got you back. So I hope you enjoyed that reading. As much as it could be a negative sort of ending, I'm not feeling that. And so, whoever I'm reading for and whoever watches my video, big hugs, big loves, kisses from near Codney Castle in Derbyshire, UK, England. So, just for now, thank you for watching. Please, if you like my shit, please subscribe to my channel. I'd really appreciate it. Please give a thumbs up, it really helps my algorithm to get this video out into um, the YouTube algorithm and get it um, into the, um, the feed section. So anyway, that being said, you take care, have a great Easter, don't eat too much chocolate. No, actually, eat chocolate, just, you know... Be safe, take care, enjoy family at this time. Until next time, bye.